Sterilizer Autoclave Solutions, www.statinusa.com, 704-966-1650. Right now we're gonna do a quick video on how to replace a heating element in a Midmark M11. Uh, first procedure is gonna be to drain all the water out. Drain all the water out using this tube. You're gonna wanna pull the rack and the trays out, and then, um, and then we'll go from there. So I'll shut the door. Um, I like to use a two by four to lay on the side of the panel so that when I open the door, it doesn't bend and break. Um, you're just gonna need a, a 5 8 wrench or 9 16 wrench and a Phillips head screwdriver. But right now, I'm gonna flip this machine on its side. Like this, be very careful. We're doing it on the two by four so we don't break the door when we go to open it. Make sure you have enough room here so that the door can open. So you can put the 2x4 or something like a 2x4 right in the middle there. Then you're going to open the door. And that allows it to lay on its side without pinning, breaking the door. Um, Alright, so this is the heating element right here. As you can see, this one has, has been exposed to probably uh, not distilled water and or water was puddling up in the chamber causing it to corrode away and then basically it, it gets a hole in it, water gets in the hole and shorts out the heating element. Um, so from here I'm going to show you how to, once it's on its side, we can then, there's, there will be an access plate, there's a Phillips screwdriver there. So unscrew that, make sure you save it, you know, we can put it back on or you don't have to put it back on. Right here is the bottom half of the chamber. Uh, there's a couple overheat protectors. If yours looks like this, you're going to notice that this, these are burnt. They're like discolored and burnt. You're going to want to replace those so that they don't fully burnt and just kind of burn and just see how they're just breaking apart. So we're going to pull all these off. These are the heating element ones, the two brown ones. Pull those off. Pull these off. Try not to break the overheat protector. These, um, you can get these from us and the heating element from us at www.statumusa.com or call us 704-966-1650. We can kind of point you in the right direction. Um, you're gonna wanna push these back, the heating element flaps so that we can get it back through the hole. Push these back, Either you can use your fingers or you can use some needle nose pliers. Uh, 9 16 wrench in this, in this case. We're gonna spin this right off. Um, in some cases, I do reuse these nuts. Uh, if you're gonna, if you say your your just your gaskets have kind of worn away and your chamber's leaking, in some cases this happens. Um, but you can basically keep these old nuts and put them back on the uh, the existing heating element. If you're replacing the heating element, then you're just gonna use the new nuts that come with it. Just make sure they're the right thread, and we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, so I got all the nuts off here. These are extra washers. This is a plate. We're gonna wanna keep this. If there's any corrosion or anything on the bottom of this plate, you're gonna have to wire wheel it, scrubby pad, whatever. Um, this is the heating element. So as you can see, I can kinda push it through. So we're gonna push it through. You're gonna push it through here, pull it up a little farther, and then that's why I flatten these out so they don't get hooked. You can bend it a little bit, don't over bend it uh, and break it. This one's broke. Uh, the one when you're taking them out, it doesn't really matter. But anyways, you're gonna see there's this little tab in the back. You're gonna have to push back and pull out, and that's how you that's how you take the heating element out. So real quick, I'm gonna show you how to put the new one in. Again, call us if you have any questions on how to do this, what parts to order. Um, this is the heating element. It comes with a bag of parts. You're not going to want to, you're going to want to not rip washers, but these two green ones are the ones we're looking for. We will then put, this is the back. This goes towards the back. These two go on here like so. Then you're going to want to put it in the chamber. You're going to want to get the front part here underneath the lip and you kind of hold them there with your fingers and then you're going to, while holding the front part down so it goes underneath the lip, you're going to want to pull that one back underneath that back part and then those kind of just slide in place like that and then you're going to want to make sure that you, when you push down it's nice and flush. So then 
Once you're ready to put everything back on, you want to get your hands on the other side of the inside of the chamber, pushing it nice and flush in. You're going to want to make sure that your overheat protectors are in place on the little little panel. Like so. Then you're going to want to just spin them, then they won't move. Get them up into place, move your wires. You're going to want to go something like that. Get it on there. You're going to want to make sure this is straight. You're going to want to make sure that the heating element on the other side is straight. Then you're going to go to grab your hardware. So plate goes on first. Then you got the flat washer, flat stainless steel washer. Then you got your lock washer. And then you're going to want to find the coarse thread nut. And I would try and I would put I would try and screw it on the heating element first to make sure it's going to go on. If you're using the new one, if you're using the old one, use these ones again, and then just screw it in hand tight. That one's hand tight. Then we got this. All, we go back with the flat washer, lock washer, and we go with the uh, the other coarse thread nut. Screw it on there hand tight. Now you got these in place, and you can kind of spin your protectors where you want them. Uh, they go like this. Um, and then you got a yellow here, red here. And then your two connecting whites. And again, if all these are burnt, you're going to want to replace them. Um, and then your two heating element wires go there. First, you're going to want to tighten them. This is a little thicker. This is a 5 8 Again, plate straight, get your, come over here. Make sure that the heating element is straight. You're gonna watch back at these gaskets, make sure that they look like they're in the right spot, make sure they're flush, and then you want this in the center of the chamber. All right, go to the back. Hold that in place with your hand, hold the heating element, and then just tighten these down. Tighten them hand tight, or I mean, uh, you know, it's real, or not hand tight, hand tight, and then five eighths, Get it as tight as possible. Once you get it as tight as possible, do it another quarter turn. We don't want to over tighten anything. We don't want to break anything. This one's starting to get tight. Work them back and forth. That way they kind of tighten down together. That's probably good. Then basically what you're going to want to do, move all that out of the way. You can roll it back like this and then you can fill the chamber with water manually and then just make sure it doesn't leak if it doesn't leak there then it shouldn't leak uh, during the cycle or, or when you go to run a cycle make sure all the wires are connected make sure the machine is unplugged when you're doing this um, try not to crack the door if possible and if you have any other questions, give us a call at 704-966-1650. Thank you.